is now day 30. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that I have done this. One more video from this day and December 2017 will be complete. This has been a lot of work, but stay tuned for the question of the day. Uh, the question of the day is, is it okay to stay in contact with an ex when you get into a new relationship? I actually don't have no notes on this one. I'm just going to go off the cusp today because I'm annoyed with this question. <laughs> yes, I'm annoyed with this question because I just don't see no point in it. Honestly, I just do not see no point in you staying in contact with an ex. Now, I do understand that some people genuinely become friends afterwards. But I just... So my thought process is this. If you need to stay in contact with an ex, usually you're staying in contact with the ex because you're hoping that something is going to pop off. Yeah, you're hoping that y'all gonna get back together. You're hoping that y'all might even have some, you know, a couple more times for the sex, especially if it was great, not just good, especially if it was great. You're hoping that you can have somebody just to call and chill with. Uh, that person is very familiar to you. But to me, an ex is an ex for a reason. You serve no more purpose in my life if you are an ex. Because I'm not looking for a whole bunch of friends. I'm not. I like my social circle small. Because I can understand exactly who you are around me. I can actually understand and pay attention to who I'm bringing around my daughter. Like, if you're an ex, you don't serve no purpose to me. Like, really, you don't. Um, to me, people that hold on, again, are just hoping that something is going to occur. And if you are getting in a new relationship, obviously that one didn't work out, right? So you're getting into this new relationship and you're... More than likely, let's just say it that way, more than likely you're going to cause some type of issue to occur within between you and your new boo. Because nobody wants you to be on the phone or texting or whatever it is, giving them more time, energy, and effort that you could be putting that time, energy, and effort into the new person that you're now hanging out with. Like, I really feel that those doors need to go ahead and get closed and stay closed forever. They didn't work out. It's okay. Now, obviously, I know that this is my only opinion. Some people agree. Some people don't. I really don't care which side you're on. This is my own personal opinion. I think that you should just close the door and walk away. Now, again, if you just really, really, really need for some reason you need to stay in contact with that person maybe y'all was business partners and it turned into something else or y'all was working together and it turned into something else okay maybe but really for me it's not something that i just need to do that door just needs to go ahead and be closed and stay shut you are going to start bringing unnecessary drama into your new relationship and even when men don't admit this Men will not admit that they get jealous of the ex. They ain't gonna admit that. Especially if they have an ex that they're keeping in contact with. Because now, if, if I tell her she can't keep in contact with her ex, then she gonna tell me I can't keep in contact with my ex. But for me, if the relationship is going good, even though it's new, if it's going good, what is it that you need to hold on to? Are you just in the hopes of, you know, well, let me hang on to this person just in case this new one don't work out. Like I did that video about giving yourself options for, um, what did I say? The video is, why do we fail at relationships? Of course, you know, I put it down in the description box below. But why do we fail at relationships? Because we keep these options. That person is an option. Because we don't know. It's the whole unknown. I don't know if this one going to work out. So let me just keep her or let me just keep him. Keep him in the background, but still there. I text him every once in a while. Then you got to worry about the whole phone thing. They might say something crazy on one of the texts, you know, and then the text is sitting next to your boo or whatever. And then all of a sudden they look down and they talking about some, 
raunchy stuff. That's the way I'm worried. <laughs> or they didn't send the old file picture. And now you breaking down the trust. Got a video on that. Breaking down the trust unnecessarily. All because you're keeping this ex around. Why? Because the ex is comfortable with you. Yeah, y'all didn't work out, but they're comfortable with you. They feel like they can call you at any time of the night. They feel like they can text you at any time of the night because y'all cool like that. But it should, you, you shouldn't give that person the power to be able to do that. They need some boundaries. Some super boundaries. Anyway, that's my opinion. I think you should just go ahead and cut the person off. I don't feel like the person is serving any purpose for you any longer. Uh, personally, like I said, I like to keep my friend circle small. And an ex don't need to be in my friend circle. Just saying. That's my own personal opinion. I'm sure that there are some good people out there. Y'all just didn't work out. And maybe you could introduce them to somebody else. <sighs> Honey. Yeah. <laughs> Give me thumbs up if you guys like this video. Even if you did like this video, give me a thumbs down. Just let me know something because as you see, I didn't have no notes today. This is something new. I don't usually do it this way, but I wanted to go ahead and just answer this question because this is a no-go for me. I didn't feel like I needed to give you a whole bunch of statistics or a whole bunch of do this and do that for this particular question, which is why I answered it like this. So let me know down in the comment section. If you feel like I needed some notes, then you can put that down there. I will not be mad at you. I am here to serve you guys. Literally, I am. I'm not BSing about that. I'm here to serve you guys. I want to be able to make the videos and content that you are absolutely going to come back and want to watch. So let me know. if Even if you give me a thumbs down, you can do that. Like I said, obviously, I want the thumbs up, but the thumbs down works as well. Um, if this is something that you would love to continuously hear, this is your first time here, you like my advice, I have a multitude of videos. I'm getting close to 200 at this point, uh, videos on YouTube, so definitely check out my page. I absolutely have a playlist for all of the questions for the month of December 2017. That is down in the description box below, so go ahead and check out all of those. I will see you guys tomorrow, the final day of... Vlogmas.